In this screencast we're going to look at the principles of the basic electric motor. So in this instance we have a permanent magnet and a magnet has a north pole and it has a south pole. And we know that the flux lines run from north uh, to south. And there they go there. And we can just represent them then by these solid lines. Now let's say we put two current carrying conductors into this magnetic field. So the magnetic field goes from north to south. So here we have one current carrying conductor and we have a cross in it. So that means the current is going in to the screen as you look at it. And another carrying conductor uh, with current coming out at you from the screen. So coming out to us here. And we know that if we have current passing through a conductor, then we'll get a magnetic field. So around each conductor, we have a magnetic field. Now the direction of this magnetic field can be determined from the right-hand rule. So if I take this guy here, if I point the thumb into the screen, and I look at with my right hand, so my right thumb going into the screen, and I look at the direction of my fingers, I will see I get a magnetic field in that direction. And similarly, if I have my thumb pointing out at me, and look at the direction of the fingers, the right hand finger shows me that the direction of that magnetic field is in this direction. Okay, so now if we exa uh, examine the magnetic flux lines, so from the magnetic um, magnets, we have flux lines going in this direction, and then from the magnetic field around the current carrying conductor, around here we also have it in this, right, this direction. So these two add up to increase the magnetic uh, field on this side of the conductor. And on this one, the magnetic field goes in the opposite direction. So from the magnets it's going this direction, but from the current carrying conductor is going in this direction. That reduces. Similarly down here, the magnetic field is going in this direction, but due to the current in the conductor is going in this direction. So that's the reduction. So we've had an increase here and a reduction here, and that will give us a force. And we know that already because the Fleming's left-hand rule uh, for the motor tells us if we have a magnetic field where the uh, index finger points in the direction of the magnetic field, so north to south. The middle finger is direction of the current, and then our thumb will give us the direction of the force. So if we did it in this case, where the middle finger is pointing in at the screen, then the thumb will point down, and that will give us a force in that direction. And in this case here, well, our hands are just as it is in this example here, Okay, so we can apply this directly to this example, and that will give us a force going up, as is shown here. The magnitude of that force is equal to BIL. So here are two current 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 conductors have forces on them, and they're attached to you know a bearing, something that can rotate. So if the forces are moving in this direction, that will give us a couple, such as that. And this will cause the um, current carrying conductors to rotate. So if we had these current carrying conductors on an armature fitted to a bearing, then this mechanism, or the armature here, would rotate. So it rotate like that, and like that. And if we looked at this guy then, it would continue to rotate. And that's the basic principle of a basic motor.